The best way I like to teach this is like Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Hey, wax on, hat. Wax off. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the arm drag. With this move, you don't need to be really strong. You don't need to shoot a double leg, single leg. The only thing you gotta work on is your timing. So, so we're gonna start with Cousin Tony kind of framing my shoulders. In real life, he's gonna do this to off balance me. So he'd be like, use that to shove me. Okay. But we're gonna start off nice and easy for you guys. He goes up post off of my shoulder. From here, I'm gonna use that wax on, wax off motion. And we wanna go low on the arm, okay? So I'm going inside. And you can keep your arm, your hand open or make a fist. And I want to go wrist to wrist. And it's almost like if you ever did karate class, like a high block, circle, re-grip. Again, I want to bring that thumb opposite, OK? And the lower I can grab that, the better. And now I want you guys to circle the arm towards the center of your body. The other hand's going to go to the elbow, not on the forearm. I can go higher, but I don't want to go any lower than that. And then I need to cover that distance by taking a step forward to reaching for his back or his hip. If he tries to turn into me, I just keep circling. And as I circle, I want to open up his elbow away from his body. And that helps me get to his back. I can switch my legs. That works really well. But in this case, this is more for if you're really good at like Greco upper body stuff. This is kind of better for you to get here but I think most jiu-jitsu people, it's kind of better for us to get to the back. Off of this arm drag too, if, if I feel like I can't get this, like he's turning away and pulling his elbow away from me, that happens a lot too. So if I feel like I can't get for, go for his back or he's just too big, a lot of times I'll, instead of going from here, I'm gonna switch into my single leg. Okay, that works really well. Another option I can do, I'm here, I feel like I can't get that and he steps that leg back. If you guys watch the fireman's carry video, uh, turn this way, cousin Tony. I can't get his leg, I can't get his back. Look, I'm gonna duck my head under his, his elbow, his shoulder. All right, I can go double leg down. And look, we're gonna take him across like a pinwheel. I think they also did that in Last Dragon. Oh, it's like reactive, I'm reacting to cousin Tony. He's pushing me, he's posting off of me. So I'm going for this move, but you gotta realize you can't always be reactive. You, sometimes you have to be proactive. So in my case, a uh, setup that I like to do is just grabbing his wrist. And this is the way I normally would teach it, but we, we've been switching this grip a lot lately. So instead of going palm straight, I'm gonna go palm down, okay? From here, this is kind of hard to clear. The other one, you know, a good basic self-defense, <laughs> cousin Tony's kind of doing it. He can just do a bicep curl. He's from New York. He's, he's just a, it, show that bicep curl, cousin Tony. Boom. <laughs> but when I switch my palm, try to do that again. When, when I have it this way, he's fighting my thumb. I'm gonna lose every time. But when I switch my grip, he's fighting my four fingers, so a little bit stronger. I'm going cross body with the arm, and I'm dragging his arm across, okay? Cover that distance. And that works really well, especially if he's got a lower base, like here. I can grab this. Just be mindful of him trying to go arm drag on you. Okay, so a lot of times I'm preemptive or sometimes we can switch. If I feel like he's gonna go arm drag on me, I turn this way, cousin Tony. I can switch off of there to this, uh, this underhook. So it's really strong and I wanna keep this up high. So I'm kinda clamping down on his arm. Turn this way, cousin Tony. Keep it up high. This hand, I can hold his head down. My MMA guys, boom, boom. My Jiu Jitsu guys, front headlock. I can also go to shuck this o over his head. So I'm taking like a stutter step to the back. All right, those all work really well. Other one, he interlaces the fingers. So this one can kind of suck. One thing I can do is kind of shake and get out of there. But if he's got the, again, Jiu Jitsu acai grip. I'm gonna twist his wrist towards the inside of our bodies. And then I use that to re-grip and peel my fingers out, you know. Doesn't seem like a big issue, but if you have beat up fingers, like, ah, you gotta get out of there. As far as finishes, there's a lot of great finishes for this move. For my jiu-jitsu guys, I really like Koichi Gari. Whatever setup you guys wanna try, I kinda like the standard setup. We're here. As I drag his arm, I'm gonna switch with my back leg, sweeping, okay? 
So there's two ways to do this. There's like the judo way, there's like the, res the wrestling way. The most important thing I like is just when I go to sweep his leg, I turn this way, Cousin Tony, like as I swim my arm, I'm stepping in and I wanna get my weight, my shoulder pushing into his upper body. But you see how my heel stopping his heel? So off the elbow, make a frame on his hip and I'm gonna, I gotta fall into him like a sacrifice throw. Okay, from here, if I can step over this leg, that works really well. And before he can drag my arm across my body, go ahead and drag it. Before he can do that, look, I'm gonna hide my elbow on the other side of his hip. Okay, and then come in closer. So this is a really good move. You're gonna see guys like JT Torres. You know, JT Torres will hit this. So I, for you guys, I would have you guys do a lot of fit-ins. So just, just going through this movement. Okay, again, I like to keep my foot up higher because I can also sweep, but you could also make this like an inside trip. Okay, that works a little bit safer. Again, watch that elbow. Another setup that I like really well, this is one that Marcelo uses. So same arm drag, but instead of trying to cover this distance, he likes to lower the guy down. So my inside side leg, instead of trapping his leg, I'm just gonna shoot it down the middle. And I turn my hips, okay? I turn my hips into Cousin Tony. All right, from here, I can stay heavy on the leg, push into the ribs. Notice I'm using that back leg, okay? To help me, I can even post two. I'm on top. The last setup that I really like, this was one Lucas does. He's hit me with it a few times. So instead of going down the leg like that, like so, he goes for the, the opposite oh, yeah. instep. So this one, sometimes you fly, you just you face plant. So be careful with that one. So same footwork, instead of going for the heel or inside, I go to the outside, okay? Short guys, we go here. Tall guys, just throw your leg out. All right, from here, same move. I'm pulling him down. And a lot of times it's hard for him to catch his base. So he's kind of flattened out. We just come on top, you know, get to your headquarters, whatever you like. And uh, this very common movement is kind of very similar to what we do with the bicep tie. So if he tries to, you know, engage me, I get inside on the bicep. So it's a very similar move. All right, very kind of zen. I want to say yoga, Aikido, you know. Just practice this. Go wax on, wax on at, house, at, at your house, your car, you know. And, all right, that's good. Thank you.